I am delighted to be a part of this tribute to the woods. Thank you to Joe Fleming. When I stayed at a house by the woods at the beginning of this year, I began making small oil sketches of the trees. The exercise became a reverie as I listened to lead bellies in the pines where the sun never shines. Robert Frost was stopping by woods on a snowy evening. Tolkien's trees were talking. Maya Lin installed a ghost forest in Manhattan. Mondrian's tree studies led him to Boogie Woogie. Odysseus and Penelope's bed was a tree. Groot was a guardian of the galaxy. My sketches led me to oil color studies of trees. Last summer, when we were safer at home, I was invited to stay at the home of friends who were away for a few months. Two cats named Euphrates and Trout were my companions while I painted the crepe myrtles. And then there were the woods I walked through with my friend. I found cherry trees so disarming that I had to make a big collage. The trees in a Paris park inspired me too. Beautiful memories of trees. When I was a child, I would go down the hill behind the house where I grew up to a hidden stand of little trees away from the bustle of a big family. This is my earliest realization that trees create rooms and sanctuaries. In the woods, we find ourselves. Mm -hmm. 